I'm, uh, I'm Peter Pratt, I'm a pharmacist and I'm the head of medicine strategy at NHS England for mental health and learning disabilities. So today we've been talking about uh, smoking. It's a really, really important health issue, particularly for people with um, psychosis. And people often ask me about the, the medicines implication, the, the role of drugs and medicines. I think the first thing is to try and uh, uh, emphasize that it, medicine shouldn't be getting in the way. It should not be complicated to help people stop smoking. Uh, Verenicline, we know in psychiatry in the past uh, people have perhaps thought about this and, and as, as being a particularly risky medicine for people with uh, psychosis but the up-to-date evidence suggests that it's perhaps no more risky than anything else. It should be one of the first uh, considerations as, as part of pharmacological uh, support. The other thing is the worry about drug interactions and problems with psychotropic medicines and stopping smoking. Now, theoretically, there are quite a few drugs that have the potential to interact, but for most patients, most of the time, from a mental health perspective, it's not an issue. The only one drug to be concerned about is a drug called clozapine. And the reason clozapine is of particular concern is that smoking affects the metabolism through the cytochrome P450 system, specifically 1A2. And when you, when you smoke, it's not the nicotine in cigarettes, it's the hydrocarbons in cigarettes. And the hydrocarbons stimulate this enzyme, this drug metabolizing enzyme, cytochrome P451A2. So it makes that enzyme much more active in smokers. If we stop smoking within about a week, the activity of that enzyme reduces. And if we're not breaking clozapine down as rapidly as we used to when we're a smoker, it means the clozapine levels will gradually build up. And in some people, that can be almost double, which can lead, sadly, to fatalities. So we must be very concerned to get clozapine and the dosage of clozapine right if we are, are going to be uh, uh, looking at, at stopping smoking. It's also important to stress that it's not the nicotine in cigarettes that's causing the problem, it's the hydrocarbons. So swapping uh, uh, smoking cigarettes for nicotine replacement or, or vaping will not alter the metabolism of clozapine. It's the smoking, it's the, it's the smoke that's actually causing the problem. So that's the biggest issue we need to give attention to. Other drugs, olanzapine, the, there is a, a, um, a risk that olanzapine levels may be affected, but those can be managed clinically. There are one or two other physical drugs, theophylline warfarin, that we also would need to give attention to, but from a psychiatry and mental health perspective, clozapine is the one that we really need, do need to give attention to. And that's, that's more or less it. Don't give up on Vrenicline, it's an effective, uh, um, one of the most effective pharmacological treatments. Get the dose of clozapine right, clozapine blood levels before we stop smoking, and a week later we'll help individualise the, the dose, and that's about it.